Coaches on every team, there's difference makers. There's influencers and there's playmakers. You know who those kids are. At FCA's Captain's Camp, we're asking you to select your highest athletes, the ones that you know have leadership potential, the ones who may already be leaders but need to be refined with things. Captain's Camp is here to serve you by serving them. We train them to be intentional and to be intensive. For three days, we bring them all together and we push them to the limits to get out what you need and what they need to go. The way we do that is we push them physically, we also train them how to lead in a mental capacity that makes them mentally tougher as well as their teammates, as well as how to communicate with different teammates on their team. We also make sure that we pour in them spiritually. For years, FCA has done great camps. We've done sports camps where we bring kids in, all we do is train them in sports. For the captain's camp, we're going to train kids in their sports, and we're going to train them to be leaders. That's why we're bringing these two together. We want to get the kid that might not go to leadership camp, but might go to sports camp. We want to get the kid that would love to go to sports camp, but might not be feeling leadership camp. We want to get the kid that you know needs to be trained, and hearing it from you will make them want to go that much harder, will make them want to get in. And we want to make sure we're serving our area in that way. A lot of our athletes will excel in sports and very poor in leadership. We're going to combine those two by making sure what we teach, they learn and practice through their competition. We teach them who their audience should be. We teach them how to work with one another when things are going against them. We teach them how to compete even with setbacks. Between those competition times, there will be times where we teach them even more aspects on leadership, how to communicate with different types of teammates, how to push through mental barriers for themselves and for others. Physically, you're going to push these athletes. You're going to get them to the wall and then push them through it. You want to get them to the brink of physical exhaustion. Then, you want to tell them to keep going. After that physical exhaustion, you get them to mental exhaustion as well. Because once your body's tired, you don't want to think the same exact way. And we want to teach them to think when they're tired, to make good decisions when they're tired. That comes through different workouts that we'll actually do competitions that we do, and actually military design events where they're going to have an objective with certain objects and the time limit to get it done. We're going to make sure that we are stressing them in every single area to where they have to break at one point. We're going to get them to that point where they break and say, I can't do this, and teach them how to compete in their sports, how to go beyond what they think they can, and get in touch with the ultimate captain, Jesus Christ. I've always had a relationship, like the husband just said, but it was more, it was like a very selfish part in it where you think, I can handle this, I can do this. And I reached a limit this weekend to where I was relying on something outside of myself. Mm -hmm. And it made me realize that he's got you. And so now when I'm on the basketball court and I feel like I need a sub, or I can't do this, or I can't take her, or at the end of practice when I'm running a sprint and I feel like I cannot go, there's a part, there's something, he's got you. So I'm not going to say, I can't go any harder because it's not up to me anyway and it's not about me, it's up to him and it's about all of you.